Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode here on the Voidcraft server. Uh, we are flying right now just because I wanted to, you know, have a little update on the base and see how it's all looking and, you know, everything's going pretty good. I like I like the way this is all coming together. Let's go up again and turn around. Nice, our little base is uh, starting to come together. It's, it's really filling up and things and I can't wait to, you know, get working on the top section and all that stuff. But um, I think we need to, you know, keep keep working on the inside today. So I went out and head and just went and got some lava real quick. I repaired some of my tools. Um, I don't think we're going to need all of this. So let's put um, some of that away and let's head up here. I want to show you guys this room real quick. We did a, uh, the fire pits it sounds like something's on the fire but obviously it is um i just went ahead and added some cups and some like uh bottles and things to the and um what are they even called the brewing sand that's it um just to make it look like it's got some drinks on there ready to go and i just went and put some flowers and stuff around so yeah i don't know i think it just tied it all together and today we're going to be going up this way and working over here so this is going to be like a big like kind of church area for um our people to come and you know pray and all this kind of stuff so they're going to be like it's going to be a big statue at the back there probably with some lava strips coming down either side and some nice chairs in the middle here so i think it's going to look really cool and i'm pretty sure we have a lot of room just to dig out this way because it's on the start of the mountain so we shouldn't have any issues running out the other side there so uh yeah hopefully um it all works out good so i'm going to get ahead and get to digging because that's pretty boring so i'm going to get out all this and we can come back and uh build the place together Alright, so I have this uh, room fully dug out. I think that's as far as we'll go. It's not very far, like, now that I look at it this way, but if we include this whole room here as part of it, like, this whole section, it, it feels quite long. So, I think I'm pretty happy with that. And I think maybe on the corners we might do, like, um, like a couple little statues or maybe one big one in the middle here and then just do a couple of rows of uh, stairs. I think that, like, chairs, I mean. I think that might look a bit better than uh, what I was thinking of doing. Like, maybe like two things on the side and then a big one in the middle or something like that um i'm not really 100 percent sure exactly what i even want to do for that statue i have kind of idea like maybe like a man like kneeling uh like holding like a glass kind of cube kind of going up to this to the roof with like lava coming down so it kind of looks like he's like you know the lava god i suppose or there's like a couple other little ways that i could potentially do it so i'm going to grab the materials that we need and we can get straight into it all right so i think we're gonna have to scrap the statue idea i just don't think this room is very big like big enough for it um that's fine though we can definitely put it somewhere else so that's it's totally all right um i was thinking of doing the same kind of theme as what i was doing down there but at the same time i don't want it to be exactly the same because i still want it to be you know, a little bit different and unique and some of that. So I think I'm going to raise like this guy's podium up. Uh, let's go like the five there. Let's yes, do something like that. That look all right. Um, and then on the side here, we can come and just put some steps and it did. There we go. Nice. There we go. And then I think maybe we can just fill this in with some of this. Okay, cool. So we can put our lectern in the center there. That will all work out pretty good. Um, and then for these like pillar things that we're doing, maybe we'll do like some different styled ones. So um, let's get some more. Okay, yeah, so I was thinking maybe putting in our lava first. That might help me like pl kind of plan where everything else is going. So this is kind of where this lava will sit. Awesome. There we go. We've got some nice lava happening on this build um so maybe for the walls we might just do some like more standardized kind of just stone walling because we want this place to look a bit nicer than like everywhere else so if we just kind of bring up some stone brick all the way around here uh, maybe even on this back wall just to give it a bit more depth uh, that might make it a little bit too squishy up here then maybe we got to take this whole section back one there we go we got this nice pattern here now I think that will look really cool uh, just like that maybe then for these walls I still don't know what I want to exactly do like I like incorporating the wood and everything else is because it's really 
ties into our base um, just with like some wood and some fences and then maybe some leaves but I don't have any at the moment so I'm going to go back and get some um, and then we'll just kind of sketch up the floor a little bit maybe we will just use the same designs as those other ones they did look pretty cool um, so I think it was I could look alright I think we might just use um, just regular stones for this one here just because I think it might make the place look a bit like fancier I suppose like more church wise in here like as best they could maybe even a block of wood in there nope that doesn't look good I could just use some regular stone though how about that yeah I don't mind that at all um, then we can leave this section here come in too from this side do upside down there and there you're meant to be regular and you're meant to be upside down and then here I can we just come in with our like supporting wooden blocks I think that will look pretty nice and then we can come along the bottom here with a bit of a uh, oak I mean a spruce um, strip there we go, I think something like that and then we can put in like our bushes like around the outside fill in that with glass um, and then for the roof I don't know what we exactly will do for the roof we might texture it I'm not a hundred percent but for these we're just, just gonna put like some row seats I think maybe we'll do like um, we'll leave a two on the side we'll leave one there and then we'll do one there and then we'll just bring these up probably need some stairs though hey that could probably work a bit better do we have any of those Let's go this way, yes, we have a couple, Got a few more there, sweet. Okay, and then we can just do something like this. And I think on the back here, maybe we can get some, like, stairs, like, some of these signs to kind of look, make it look like, um, they're like little placeholders and things. So you can come and, like, put, you know, your books or your Bibles or whatever they have, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if we do something like that, it kind of makes it a bit more, you know, interesting and then that looked pretty good I think I don't, I'm like I'm pretty pretty happy with this I might go get some leaves and things though as well um, finish up these signs and then get to lectern and we can put in some glass and then figure out what we're gonna do on the roof all right so let's uh, go ahead and put these bushes in I think we're just gonna stick them up the top just here and they should be fine there I'm gonna delete that one at the top there but that's fine let's chuck these in awesome now I do have glass panes and then glass blocks. I'm not sure what will look the best, but we'll just pop these in for now. See what it looks like. We missed one of course, there we go. And done. Nice, I think that'll, that'll be fine. Um, let's get rid of this one up here though. Because you're not meant to be there. Sweet. Um, now we can go ahead and put our lectern up this way. Uh, we'll put it in the center. Do we want to put it on the edge or back one? No, we'll see how that looks. Just there. Does that look okay? Yeah, it looks not bad. Um, I was thinking of then also putting just some pressure plates just on top of here. Just add a little bit more um, texture to the places so it's not all so flat and even. There we go. Um, now from the front here... I think it needs like a little something, you know. That's definitely not it. And then maybe I was going to put some books around here, like we can put some item frames with some books or something. Maybe a couple on the back of these chairs instead of like this um, thing just there. But I think that that's most of it done. I just want to go ahead and texture the floor a little bit. So we can go ahead and do that together. Let's put these in here for now. Take that out. That's not meant to be in there. Um put some wood in here and this as well cool let's get a little bit of this and a little bit of that sweet and just come along here and texture up the floor a little bit let's put some of this in here the good thing about doing this is after we have the uh, you know the seats and things in here we don't need to really worry about too much of the floor that because it's gonna get covered like it's already covered anyway so we can just kind of do a little bit here and there just to you know make this place look a little bit better and we don't really need too much in here. It's still a little bit of cobblestone. I don't want too much cobblestone in here, but you know, it's just what they, you know, had to use and things. So let's go ahead and put these in here. So this, and that looks pretty good just there. Maybe we, I don't know what we're gonna use for this little laneway and things, but I think for the meantime, this is looking pretty good. I just need to kind of work on the roof a little bit. I think maybe we might just put in some, 
I was thinking maybe just taking out these and putting in some stairs. I think that might work a little bit better just to help curve the roof a little bit more. Or maybe we can just hang in some like nice uh, giant chandelier kind of things. So let's get some. And then I think that there looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we might need a little bit more light up this end. Maybe we'll do like something like this and here. These looking okay for light. They might need a little bit more. We'll see how it goes. I don't think anything should spawn in here, but it might. So we'll just have to watch out for that. But I'll put a couple more um, lanterns just on here and get that all good. And then I think that room is pretty much done. This is like a nice little filler of a room, I suppose. I still will come in here and, you know, put a little bit more um, detail in here with some books and things. But I think it's a nice way to, like, look at the view. And you can come in here and look up here as well. And it's looking pretty good, I think. This whole place is really coming together. Um, as I said, I, I'll, I'll get to sort of texture up these walls and everything like that. But we'll get there eventually. Um, it's a long project that we were working on here. So, yeah, as I said, here we've got this nice little nice room just here and then the other one upstairs so we might even need a like fireplace or something in the corner over there that might work pretty well um, but for the rest of this room it's looking pretty good I still might texture the roof up like in here um, we'll have to see what I exactly we do there but I'm going to tidy up my inventory and we're going to fly over to the shop because I got to open that thing it's been uh, built and ready to go for a while but I just haven't been bothered to actually go ahead and open it so uh, we just got to make a few... What are we going to use to enchant them? I guess we could use paper. Yeah, that would work. Or we can just write on the signs, actually. I think that's what I was going to do. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll get this sorted and I'll meet you over the capital. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or not, but uh, the whole river here is now flooded and everything. It looks awesome. Uh, they did a lot of work here and it's turned out really cool. I really like the way it's all it's all done here. Um, it looks super awesome. I think they're leveling out all this now as well. So I might need to get back on the server and uh, help out a bit more with some of this. Um, but yeah, this looks absolutely awesome. I think it turned out really well. It like just kind of floods. It flooded like nicely, I suppose. That's, that's the best what they did. Um, and then I think everything else is pretty much the same, I think, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, I think so. That's a nice tree over there. I think that was there before. Maybe just decorate a little bit more. But our shop over here is still standing, so that's good to see. Um, we might go ahead and come in here and whoop. let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Pop these up, and then we just need to get go ahead and put some prices down and everything like that. So I might uh, try and figure out some prices for this stuff. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit hard. We'll see how we go, um, and we might need to change it. You know, we'll see what people's feedback is and everything like that. So yeah, I think for this one here, we're going to be doing uh, snowman heads. We'll do one diamond each, but limit one per customer. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm done with the prices here. So I've got uh, snowman head, one diamond uh, each, limit one per customer. And then we have some white icicles, um, light blue and dark, or one diamond per stack. I don't know. I might change that. I might change it to like one diamond per three stacks or two, something like that. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, and I might sell the actual blocks themselves rather than the paints because people might want that instead. So we'll see what everyone wants um but for these we've got the snowballs one diamond is for 10 stacks i didn't have 10 stacks in there but i gotta go get some um we do have the snow layers we got one diamond per two stacks and then we have snow box two diamonds per stack so the way we work this out we need uh four um each so for this so that will only get us uh 16 um things so I kind of made it so it's less value if you obviously buy the smaller ones better value if you buy the top ones kind of thing and then these ones here are kind of even so they should equal out to the same kind of thing I believe I don't know anyways um, and then I tried to do the same thing here so I got one diamond for regular three for packed and nine for blue because um, if you do like you buy the this individually and you want to make your own blue ice that's three three by three um, so three diamonds per, so it'll be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So we like 27 diamonds instead of 9, so it's obviously a lot better value buying the blue ice. Um, just obviously as is rather than trying to craft it yourself. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much blue ice though, but because it's 
kind of an effort to craft so I might even bump that up like even to something bigger like 15 diamonds or something like that because it's it's really quite an effort to make and I really am going to kind of make it like worthwhile doing it but I don't know if you, people will even want to use it or not so we'll see everyone's feedback on the server anyways um, but yeah I think I might have wrap up the video there guys it's been quite a fun one we I didn't put our bell in actually I saw that <laughs> that's all right though I don't know if it really would have fit in but yeah at least we have the uh, grand opening to the store so let's uh, let off a firework there and it's gonna pop it didn't it didn't explode oh well that's all right um so yeah i think i might yeah, wrap up the video there guys thanks for stopping by uh if you did enjoy it all please leave a like subscribe ring the notification bell all that good stuff and i'll be sure uh to catch you guys in the next video later